In this video, I want to show you guys a new Windows 11 optimizer called Crap Fixer. This is made by the Built by Bell uh, at GitHub. He has made a couple of really popular apps for Windows like Flyby 11, Tidy OS, and many other. He makes these kind of, you know, apps for Windows almost all the time, okay? So this is a new app from him. And you know what? You should go and read the description. He's a funny and talented dev, <laughs> okay? I'm not gonna read it for you guys, okay? You go and check this out. Yeah, let's download this. Go to releases and uh, download this. This is a small file. Uh, it's a few kilobytes. Let's extract it. C fixer, okay? This is a exe file. We're just gonna run it. If you see this prompt, click on show more and run anyway. This happens because this app is not signed. And here is one interesting thing about this application. I'm pretty sure you have used a Windows optimizer called CCleaner. It used to be one of the most popular system cleanup app and the dev tried mimicking the CCleaner user interface basically. So this is like CCleaner in 2025. The people who know how bad the CCleaner is now these days, they don't use the CCleaner. Okay, we have many options that you can enable. We have on top issues, basic disk cleanup. We can change few things like uh, show blue screen of death details instead of sad smiley face. That's going to be useful if you want to know the cause of blue screen of death. It's really useful. Enable verbose login status message, speed up shutdown time, disable network throttling. Let's just say all these options are to optimize or make Windows do certain things in a better way and all that. Okay. We have Microsoft Edge. Okay. If you don't like Microsoft Edge, check everything. S disable start boost when you turn on your computer. Microsoft Edge actually runs in background automatically and you don't even know it. So if you don't use Microsoft Edge and you don't want that to happen, yeah, just disable it, okay? And UI show full context menu in Windows 11. Basically, we have two context menus in Windows 11. If we want to get more things done, we have to click on show more options and then we get the old context menu. So we can enable that. I don't see a single thing that isn't useful. For the gaming, yeah, I mean, it depends. I don't actually recommend disabling the game DVR because I have tested this by myself. Uh, some games actually do not run that well okay without game dvr so just don't uh disable it if you don't want the visual effects like you have low spec pc you should disable the visual effects if you have a good pc don't disable the visual effects privacy just turn everything on disable activity history location tracking privacy and uh, telemetry data ads disable everything it even has a option remove ask copilot from context menu now let's click on analyze uh, i should run this as a administrator because some of these things cannot be changed okay for that usually we need to run this as a administrator okay we're gonna run that now let's run the analyze and here you can see what are already optimized and what are not okay so the red ones are not optimized and uh, there is a end task option already enabled i made video about this this is like super useful feature with this you can end any task if there is a frozen app or something you can quickly close that application without opening the task manager so it has that option here yeah there are some really useful options that you can quickly enable without going too deep into the windows settings so there are a few things that aren't still uh, disabled so let's click on run fixer click ok disk cleanup happening right now okay let's run the analyze one more time and everything is optimized now basically we didn't disable the game dvr because i don't recommend this if you're a gamer you shouldn't disable this because i have experienced some issues with some games when i did it so if you're a heavy gamer don't disable it. I know you guys are smart. You know what's good for you. Okay. You can go through each of these settings. All these options are actually pretty easy to understand and you can have an idea what they do. Now, if you go into the options and then go to plugins here, you can actually get some more Windows optimizers like Chris Titus 
app which is one of the most popular windows optimizer app and uninstall onedrive cf enhancer uh enhanced bloatware detection oh okay if you want to do debloat yeah select that and uh, remove ai let's install these three plugins okay and it says installed let's go to the fixer and let's analyze it can i see oh okay i have to select the plugins at the bottom okay now let's run the analyze okay now let's run the fixer once everything is done i shouldn't do the disk cleanup let's cancel this the basic disk cleanup and then let's run the analyze okay and oh yeah everything is fixed here in apps section the apps that you want to remove just select them can i have the select all option oh we have the select all option at the bottom okay my bad okay now run the fixer and all those apps are gone slowly yeah all those bloatwares are gone now if you want to restore your settings back to normal yeah you just click on restore and all the settings will go back to normal let me actually run this so you can see even my start menu is back to normal you can undo all the changes basically okay i don't want to align my start menu to the left i just want to keep it in the center so let's uh enable dark mode for the system uh this is not activated so i can't use the dark mode let's see if it does it <laughs> okay now let's run the analyze one more time okay and uh, everything is red basically they are not optimized needs to be optimized okay so we're gonna run the fixer and yeah the dark mode is enabled oh wait wait i forgot to do one more thing enable dark mode for apps analyze enable oh yeah <laughs> my bad some of the apps were just not in dark mode okay you should select both of them if you want to enable dark mode and this is actually really good uh, to quickly you know optimize your windows all the options related to privacy ads ai the performance ui are here almost all of them and you can just select all of and just run the analyze and run the fixer and if you want to undo anything you can just click on restore and everything will be back to normal one more thing that he can do with this app to make it even better is to add bleach bit as a plugin this is the thing that i actually use to clean up my pc and also microsoft pc manager i mean this thing is also free and open source and if he can somehow you know merge these two things together that would be great actually yeah you can do system cleanup plus the system optimization and all that okay for the system optimization you run it once and you're done until the next update you know the windows after the update some of the settings go back to normal windows basically restores the settings automatically so yeah after the update you might have to run this but not that often for the cleanup i think bleach bit is better than basic disk cleanup tool in windows and i forgot to mention this one <laughs> winget app updates this one is also really useful this basically automatically updates all the applications on your system that are available on winget and i think almost all the popular apps are actually available on winget so it can also update your browser your apps like vlc or whatever you have chrome firefox almost all the popular apps that you use and yeah that's it with this one hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.